I'm joined now by Dr. Jennifer Lippincott-Schwartz, the 2014 ASCB president. Congratulations on a successful year. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. So I know you are very busy this week. Talk to me about some of your goals for this meeting. Well, um, well, the first goal happened the last two days, which was running the council meeting, which is um, the counselors that are elected by the society to make decisions about the directions that the society should go. Um, and it also includes all of the chairs of the different committees, Public Affairs Committee, the International Cell Biology um, Affairs Committee. Um, so just orchestrating that set of meetings was very, I mean, is a major part of what one does as president. Um, but I'm really looking forward to now seeing the meeting unfold. Um, we, together with Wallace Marshall, who was the um, program chair for this year's meeting, we've put together what I think is going to be a very exciting program, and um, which will include um, elements of both the physical biology aspect of cell biology as well as the more clinical biomedical related aspects um, to try to broaden the, um, the direction of our uh, membership. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to tonight, which is the keynote, um, the whole keynote presentation where um, we really communicate directly to the whole society what's been happening during the year in terms of all of the other activities that ASCB runs other than just the meeting, the annual meeting, which many people think are the, is the only thing that ASCB does, but in fact there's a lot of things that we're, we're doing over the course of the year. Can you talk to us briefly about that, what are some of your proudest accomplishments through the year and some of the highlights that people really need to know? Yeah, so for me, what there's a couple highlights. Um, one was the um, initiation of a uh, a new issue of our uh, sort of flagship journal, uh, Molecular Biology of the Cell, where we initiated a, a special issue um, devoted to quantitative cell biology approaches. And this is really built upon a appreciation that was initially recognized by Ron Vale that our society is really evolving in new directions, including um, uh, directions that involve a much greater connection with the physical, bio, physical physics um, and computational biology approaches, as well as um, a more uh, sort of approach related to um, you know just broad data sets, etc. And so, this particular issue of MBOC is devoted to those types of papers, and um, we've collected. Um, a really large volume um, of both perspectives and reviews, but also original articles in this area uh, that we think um, represents a new direction that our society is going to be taking in terms of promoting more crosstalk, integrative cell biology with these other physical sciences. Is that collaboration something that was a priority of yours when you took this position? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And do you feel like you have achieved your goal, or is there more work to be done in that direction? Well, there's definitely more work to be done. There's no question about it. And we anticipate that um, part of that will be, well, one of the things that we did in just handling all the papers that came in for this journal was, um, this particular issue was um, add seven new editor, associate editors to this journal, to the MBOC and um, with expertise that can handle these more physics-related articles, more quantitative imaging um, type of articles that are, we're now encouraging to come into um, our flagship journal. So that's, but also, um, you know, we're hoping that um, as part of the whole um, society annual meeting that we can have uh, a greater talk, crosstalk with uh, the quantitative um, biological world and as part of that we've um, put together subgroup meetings on Saturday which start right today where uh, we're bringing in people with expertise in these other areas of physics, biophysics, um, uh, super resolution imaging um, to sort of talk to our society members. And that's the great thing about this meeting I think bringing together all of these yeah. great minds. So that was the first thing that I was really proud of this year. The second thing was 
um, a uh, really bold um, uh, collaboration, uh, really uh, initiated by Stefano B uh, Bertuzzi, um, that allowed us to um, reach out to the public in terms of communicating cell biology. And that was done through a collaboration with Dulles Airport Authority, where we selected 34 pictures, really classic, beautiful pictures from our um, constituents. And they're now housed at Dulles Airport um, within viewing distance of um, all of the passengers getting onto planes. And so when you go to Dulles Airport, you can see this. It's really wonderful. Um, I, I go through Dulles Airport a lot, and every time I go by, I can see these beautiful pictures. They're backlit, um, you know, showing you know, spectacular images of cells and um, microorganisms. I love the idea of making science so much more accessible and yeah. you know certainly having people talk about it and say hey what is yeah, that? Yeah. It's, it begins yeah. the discussion about science. Lastly I want to talk about you going to Stockholm for the Nobel Prize ceremony. How exciting. Yeah very well it's it's a real honor and it's a super exciting um, event. Um, uh, my colleague Eric Betzik who is who has invited me as one of his 14 select people that he can take to this ceremony um, is the inventor of the, one of the super resolution imaging approaches that's being recognized with this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry. And um, Eric actually worked in my lab in developing Palm. So um, I feel very much associated with this uh, particular prize um, because it's been very much part of the, the type of work that we've been doing. Enjoy your trip and thank you for a successful year. Dr. Lippincott-Schwartz, outgoing 2014 ASCB president.